Hey Glam Fam, what's up? Well, if you're new to my channel, my name is Veronica. I would love to have you be a part of the Glam Fam. All you gotta do is hit that subscribe button. If you are subscribed already, you know I love you. The beautiful Catherine Paez from the Ace Family, she had did a makeup tutorial on her app a while back. There's two reasons why I was excited to do this makeup tutorial. Number one is because summer's coming and I work at Disney and it's super hot and I want a nice natural glam. And the other reason is because my husband, his favorite look in the world is natural glam. We're gonna follow her video, unfortunately, because the Ace family is so popular. I'm not allowed to insert a clip of their video, but I will leave their channel in the description box below. Brief backstory on that, my daughter made me watch one video, and now like I have to follow their life. They're motivated, they're driven, they only have one qualm, and that's he can't post their content, meaning like put clips of their videos in your videos. And that I totally understand that. So I'm gonna follow it from my phone, and I'm gonna do this makeup look, but the good part is later, I'm gonna check back in with you guys and see how it turned out. She doesn't go with the usual basic steps, even though there's no rules to makeup. I am going to insert my intro right now. Let's do this. I just wanna show you off. I don't wanna do you wrong. Mirror, mirror on the wall. I do, without have, looking at the video, know for a fact that she tied her hair back right away. She was wearing a black sweatshirt, and I am going to post a photo of her. You can do that. She always looks beautiful in her videos, and her fans were constantly saying, oh, we want a makeup tutorial, so on her app, she did the makeup tutorial. Anybody who doesn't like the Ace Family, I'm just here for a makeup tutorial, so please keep the comments nice, you know, or just exit out of the video. And I'm just following a nice new makeup routine because... My husband likes that whole, well, you know, like Drake says. Sweatpants, hair tied, chilling with no makeup on. That's when you're the prettiest. I hope that y'all don't take it wrong. I want to see if this could be my new summer routine because summer is slowly sneaking up on us. So she says she uses moisturizer as her first step. I already can tell you, a spoiler alert, she doesn't use a primer. <sighs> are you kidding? Oh my God, are you kidding? Some of the products I have that she actually used, but for a lot of them, she doesn't even mention what she uses, which is fine by me. This is your basic drugstore Pond's moisturizer. I definitely feel weird not using a primer. Here's a trick for pores. After you get out of the shower, just rinse your face in ice cold water, as cold as you can handle it. That'll close your pores. My hair is looking all kinds of funky. Hold up. Got me looking like Michael Myers up in here. Disclaimer, I'm not gonna look like Catherine Baez at all. This is not what I'm trying to do. She is a beautiful young girl. I am 40 and I am just doing this because I am looking to discover new makeup routine. So she goes right into foundation and I know it's a 24 hour foundation because you're gonna hear in a minute, but she doesn't tell you what it is. So I am going to go in with the new L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. She applies it with her fingers. She says she puts it in little dots. Make sure your hands are clean if you're gonna do this technique, by the way. I'm sure you already know that. And she says she goes in with it under her eyes first because she doesn't like concealer because she doesn't like her under eyes to look brighter than the rest of her skin. She wants it all to be the same. She said that she likes to show her um, freckles off and her beauty marks off and she just goes a little heavy where she has like spots or whatever. She blends hers in with those oval, what are they called? They used to be so trendy. I'll put a picture of one right now. I'm just gonna blend it in with my Morphe M429 brush. Same deal. She goes like this, she said. Okay, so she just said after she applies foundation, she takes the same foundation and puts a little bit and puts it in the corner of her eyes. And then she says she takes a little brush, this Moda brush right here. She dots it out. So she's just gonna, and she's going like this, literally. And then she brings it into the crease of her eyes. So after she does all this, no setting powder, no nothing like that. She lines her lips. She goes in with MAC Whirl. I don't have that one. Going in with ColourPop Torres, same effect. It's a nudish brown. Does mention, she's gonna mention that she overlines them. She's saying, I don't know why I do this next, but I have to. I'll tell you right now, she's not gonna put, put lipstick on until the end. And I am gonna overline them just like she did. If you know who this girl is, you already know that she says this is her makeup that she has in her videos because she is not a beauty guru, she's a family channel. Her makeup looks like she has no makeup on, but you can tell she has a little bit, and it's so beautiful. So that's why I was thinking, if this turns out good, this could 
definitely make the cut for my everyday summer routine. She says at the end it takes her literally three to four minutes to do this. I feel like so humbled and so like, she's got a makeup bag. That's all the makeup she owns. And meanwhile, I just can't get enough. Can anybody relate? Imagine if I could do my makeup with like, just like the four products I have sitting right here every day. Like that would be awesome, you know? And then just for an event, because definitely here in Florida, you have to have as minimal makeup as possible when it gets really hot and you work at a theme park. Smashbox bronzer, it's warm matte color. This, I memorized this. I watched this like a hundred times. So she has a big fluffy brush, a warm matte bronzer. I don't have the Smashbox bronzer, but this is literally the same color as the one she used. This is by Morphe. This is in the color blog. Literally goes like this. Okay, watch what I'm doing. So she fluffs it around like you normally would. You're like, okay, that's that's what I do. But then literally out of nowhere, she's like this, watch. Which I'm totally cool with. Cause she says it makes her look tanner. Look at her, how beautiful she looks. And if this is what she does, this is what we're gonna do. She brings it under the eyes. That's how she sets her eyes. And like literally she starts going like basically ham with it. And no, she didn't do like a contour. No, she was just straight up putting it on everywhere. She doesn't wear blush, so don't get your blush out. I really admire and respect Catherine. I'm not like one of those crazy fans. I'm a 40 year old mother of four. Like, I mean, I have my own life, but I definitely appreciate watching their videos when they come up. I like what they do. And I understand that everybody's human. So, but we're not gonna go on the tea with that. We're just gonna continue with this Personally, tutorial. I just, I don't know what it so is. So she's like, so here. So she does her eyebrows with some of this. So she's using an angled brush. She uses a single warm eyeshadow. It's a MAC shadow, but I don't have that. So we're going into this Morphe palette. Warm color brown right here. She just follows the natural hairs in her eyebrows. So I'm not gonna go any extra. I had already did the front of my brows earlier. I have to draw out some sort of brow because if not, cause I have alopecia on my brows, so. I have, she has beautiful brows. So I had to create some kind of brow initially before the video even started, or then I would just look like a freakazoid, but I am um, taking this light brown on top of my artificial fake brows. I have some hair, it's just in the front that it doesn't grow anymore. By the way, if you guys do make brows like on yourself, a good way to set your brows all day is either going over them with a translucent powder or an eyeshadow. So even if you do make like fleeky brows or thicker brows or use brow pomade or brow pencils, always what you wanna do, she does just this. This is all she does is put eyeshadow. But when you're done doing your own eyebrows, like if you do them with like product, always set them with eyeshadow because it'll make them stay on way longer. It almost become like waterproof, especially on top of like a palmy. So, and your girl, me right here would know that because I have no brows. So I'm constantly figuring out ways to keep my brows on while I'm swimming, showering, waking up in the morning. So I'm all about that. But she wants to buff it out really tough like this so that her freckles and her pores show through. So she's fairy dusting it out with nothing on the, nothing on the brush. This is literally what she's doing. She's saying seeing pores, seeing hairs, and seeing marks makes you look all that more natural. Okay, so this is this is the part I really want to talk to you guys about without her talking in the background. She uses an old school Morphe palette. It has a brown, couple browns, and what she does is she takes one brush, she dips into all the browns. Like there's about like four browns. So she goes like this. Like this is would be an example of what she does. One, two, three, four. And then she says she starts in the crease, goes back and forth. And she's doing it for a minute because she even time lapses, which I'm gonna do too, because I'm gonna speed it up right here. The 35 M Boss Babe palette. If my daughter would love this makeup tutorial. Makes, just depending on Look my how old that house, palette like, is. Randomly. Hold on a second, Catherine. Remember when Morphe used to have the squares in their palettes and not the circles? So any Morphe palette will do because she literally uses only the browns. So she curls her eyelashes, curls it, and she says she does it for like one second. Literally my daughter's makeup routine. I'm not even kidding. I love you, Lena. Oh, and she just snapped me right now while I'm filming. Hey girl, hey. Okay, so they're curled. She says when she uses her eyelash curler, she thinks of her mom. When I use any of my makeup products, I think of my mom. I love you, mom. I know you're watching this. 
So guess what? Your girl's got, I love how this goes from like drugstore to like high end. She uses the Marc Jacobs mascara. Who knew? So I actually have that. I like that on this one. And she tells you that she just doesn't, she doesn't go on the lower lash line because she feels like it looks like spiders. So she just goes on the upper lash line in a normal mascara fashion. And I can see why she would choose this mascara because it really does do the thing for your lashes. It literally makes it look like falsies because she doesn't wear falsies. She said the only time she would wear falsies is if a makeup artist does her makeup or if she has lash extensions. So, so I just, I just she said so and I said so. So what do you know? Okay, so she said that she used to wear a lot of eyeliner, but then she figured, realized that it made her eyes look even smaller. So I'm gonna tell you right now, spoiler alert, here's the tea on that, hunty. She's not using any eyeliner. So, this is cool. Yes. This is probably like... This Anastasia Glow Kit. The Sugar Glow Kit. Uh, I usually use this one and this And she one. uses the two bottom colors. I, I was literally excited about this part, but don't get too excited because she's not using them on her cheekbones. She takes the color Butterscotch and Starburst and literally in this order, this is what she does. She goes in first to the inner corner of her eyes, a little on the tip of her nose. Let her keep his bow. Um, I put more bronzer on. She puts she more bronzer on. Put more bronzer. So we're back, we're back to the bronzer. We're literally done almost. She wants lots of bronzer because she wants to look tan. She feels like she doesn't look tan enough because she doesn't, if you know Catherine, whenever she goes outside or whatever, she c covers her face. She doesn't um, let the sun hit her face, which I'm going to tell you, she's very smart for that. Also, you can use the sunscreen if you didn't know that. And if you're worried about flashback, I got a good one for you. Sephora makes a sunscreen that's 25 SPF and it's a moisturizer in one and your photos will look amazing and your skin will feel completely hydrated and it's super inexpensive. So I just thought I'd give you guys that tip. Usually they either make me break out, make my face dry out, or give me flashback and photos. Well, Sephora created the perfect formula. So I will leave a link to that product in the description box below since we are getting close to summer and cancer's a real thing. But we wanna make sure we protect our skin and our face. Decreases wrinkles. If you protect your skin, that's why a lot of these beauty gurus vloggers, celebrities, they will spray tan their body and they will use a darker foundation or bronzer to tan their face to match their body from the spray tan because they're not trying to get melanoma and they're not trying to like get like aged, aged skin, that leather skin. I feel like that's an important thing. I used to not think about that. When I was 19, I was literally like dousing myself in vegetable oil and tanning and then going to the tanning salon right after that. And yeah, not, not good practices, trust me on that. So the last thing she does is she says, says she puts lipstick on, but she just she literally doesn't show the lipstick. It's just already on her mouth when she says she's done with the makeup tutorial, but it is definitely a nude. So I am going in with one of my favorite nudes of all time. And this is such a universally flattering nude. This is 920 Nude Lust by Maybelline. So it has like a glossy look on top. And what happened, but it doesn't have that sticky feel of gloss that I can't stand wearing. So this is one of my favorite summertime lip colors, especially in the nude category. What, when, when you go on YouTube and it's summertime, summertime makeup, summertime, it's a yellow cut crease, blue ocean vibes, a bronze goddess, but it's always good to have no makeup makeup look on in your back pocket, you know, to pull out for when you don't want to be all glammed out. You don't want to feel like you have a face full of Bond. And I can tell you one thing about this L'Oreal Fresh Wear, it does not feel like anything sitting on your skin. Time right now is 11.49 right now. Look at, look at my husband's screensaver, like really bullet holes, like. <laughs> I'm a gangster. Because this is the era that my husband grew up in, the 50 cent era. Do you blame him? That's why he has bullet holes on his screensaver. <laughs> Promise you he's not a bad guy. It's his inner gangster. I love you, babe. <laughs> okay, so it's 11.49. I will come back probably in a couple hours. Let's do a check-in around three o'clock. This is the completed look. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, Glam Fam. You're gonna like this. 301, can you guys see the screensaver? It's not bullet holes anymore. I changed it to my face. I think it looks really good. I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. I will, as always, leave all the products I used in that description box. I'm not saying this is gonna be for everybody. I'm just saying that I think I've got my makeup routine. I love you guys so, 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 so much. 